On the road, yeah, back again, and today, big one today, one of the most decorated clubs in English football. People forget that. At number 10, it's Nottingham Forest. Been looking to tick this one off for quite some time. Obviously, we went to that other place. I, I, I don't want to mention it, but I should mention it. Listen, I'm going to mention it. We went to Notts County, and ever since then, everyone's been saying, go to the other side of the trend, visit Nottingham Forest, and see who comes out better. Well, okay, but before we get into it, did you see the previous video? <laughs> Yep, Grimsby Town. If you haven't checked that one out, go and check it out. It was an interesting one. For those that did see it, I will not be making the same mistake this week. Trust me. Anyway, if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Support it by dropping a like on the videos. We always ask for 10,000 likes on the On The Road videos. Doesn't always get there. The camera's just falling forward as we uh, put the brakes on. We're going to be going Danny 127 today. Here it is. And we might as well just kick things off by saying, NAME! Not in Forest. It were founded in 1865. That's well old. They currently find themselves in the championship. They played their football right out of the city ground, which has a total capacity of 30,445. All of its seats. And some of it, you never know, maybe heated. Yeah, say A127 today. Bloody A13 is doing me head in. We're very quickly taking the A128 from Brentwood through to Allsit. It's a little plan I devised in my head. This road's bumpy as we hit Thurrock. The Land Rover in front is taking the right. I'm going to be taking the right soon, but not that one. I feel like I might be seeing this guy again, though. The right I'm going to be taking is just up here into Allsit. Little village. Wouldn't mind moving there. I think it's out of our price range, though. We're going to have to be moving further out if we're going to get something nice. And look who I've just had to give way to. Told you I'd see him again. If you happen to be in the area, check out this pub here. Do really good food. Quite expensive, but really good food all the same. And that place is actually near my old manor. It's great! Which is just feeling a little bit tired. A little bit run down, you know. And if you're in the area, just, just keep driving. Now, for my regular viewers, I'm just here to let you know that we are coming in from a slightly different way today. But I am about to go through the width restriction that nobody wants to go through. Apart from yourself, of course. Tony in front. Look, he's done a bit of a UE. Don't want to know. He got to here and he said, is that a width restriction? Yeah, sod that. I'm turning around. It's fine, though. I'll brave it. Do not worry. Lorry on the left is delivering. So I'm going to swing around him. And I can see some. Well, I can see a light. But hang on, guys. I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone here. This doesn't look right to me. I think we've got, hang on, we've got temporary lights at the width restriction that nobody wants to go through. Yeah, I definitely wasn't prepared for this. I think I'm going to have to give myself a minute. And while we do that, let's check out It's the Top Comments of the Week. Now, first of all, I've noticed that we're getting a bit of a divide. Some people like my dulcet tones. Others prefer the whistle. I'm confused. What did we go with? Maybe I'll start with the dulcets and go with the whistle on the way out. That way everyone's happy. Surely. Surely. Anyway, check this out. AJ's only been here five minutes. He's already made it onto the Top Comments of the Week. The rest of you, you're slacking. They stumbled across the video starting with Bromley to be exact. I know, he's been binging the entire playlist ever since. I said binging because I couldn't say marathon in very quickly. Yeah, he just finished and Grimsley Town popped up. Perfect timing indeed. AJ, welcome aboard and I hope you enjoy the future journey. Simon here's popped up. I feel like my FIFA days are well and truly over, by the way. My dreams really have come true for Simon. Absolute scenes when Haaland lifted the Champions League trophy in a Grimsby shirt in 2029. Listen, it could still happen. You're four promotions from the Premier League. In the fifth year, you gain top four and in the sixth year, you enter Champions League and you win it straight away. And if you don't win it on the first time of asking, you've still got two years to make it happen. As far as I'm concerned, Grimsby, best defence in world football, is only a matter of time. But the top, 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 top comment this week with 334 likes, Keelan said, This isn't an opinion. It's just fact that Smith and Charlie are the best British duo. Listen, Keelan, I appreciate your opinion and everyone that agrees, but I'm happy to sit second behind Stavros Flatley. So as you can see, we've been given the green light, but that's certainly not Beyonce right there. Really not after naming names, but I think it could be Farrah Franklin. If you know, you know. We're just around the corner from Charlie's at the moment, but we are stopped in our tracks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's rough around here. You've got to keep your wits about you. Anyway, it's about time we swung into the complex. I actually thought Charlie was ready today, but no, just a postman. Just a temp postman. Just a Farrah Franklin postman. Uh, hello. 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 Starting route to Nottingham Forest Football Club. We're actually going to start by filling up from the pump. I feel like the petrol crisis is definitely over now. In addition to petrol, we ended up buying, well, fuel for the journey. Actually went for chicken and sweet corn this week. And I absolutely 100% didn't get this. But amongst other things, plus fuel, ended up spending £67.88 on everything ever. Oh, there you go. So it's raining and the first part of the journey is the big bad boy M25. I've actually been called out a few times for being a middle lane hogger. I hope this makes you happy. I really do. Whoever's getting better, I just saw a Ferrari. And as you know, I'm a big fan of these. We're actually making really fantastic progress. Did consider going to the National Space Center, but we just, uh, we ain't got that much time. So we crack on with our journey, although many a people also consider going to the National Space Center. It looks like they're taking up their opportunity as well. Q's forming. First signs for Nottingham as we come off at the A453 for Nottingham. Thinking I might have taken the wrong turn to Springfield. And I for once Saturday's Nevis has prevailed. I came here thinking I'd just be able to pick up a parking space somewhere. I also came here thinking I'd be able to pick up a penguin. So I'm just going to go to the only place I know there is a car park. The penguin will have to deal with another time. We're at a Queens Road car park, where we are well and truly going up in the world. Eventually, we and yep, I took the keys. Couldn't find a lift, so it's a stair jobby. Surprisingly, Charlie's wearing pants and socks today. Temperatures are obviously plummeting. Forest fans, look away now. There's the other place. Let me join in with some Forest fans en route to the stadium. Go down, go down, go down. 
apparently what I gained from that song was Derby are going down with a fiver in the bank. I can't confirm if that's true or not, but it is a river with a stadium on it. Isn't it beautiful? I have no idea. Me ain't got no idea. It's beautiful. Look at it. With all these fans here, it's a slow walk over the bridge. This guy's got the right idea. Skip it. 12 minutes to kick off, and most people are just spilling out the pubs. I respect this, and so does Isaac. Now it's time to get food outside the ground. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going inside. Looks like some canoes have just rocked up and got to the city grounds. It's, it's, it's a thing. Canoe at two, football at three. Someone's probably going to tell me it's not a canoe, it's something else. And to you, I say, Shadab, want to see a football badge? That's a football badge. That's a proper football badge. Sheffield Wednesday could learn a thing or two from Forest. Stick with it. Now, currently in the queue for the upper tier Brian Clough stand, to be exact. We famously said if God wanted us to play football in the clouds, he'd have put grass up there. That was to do with long ball football. And I agree, I love seeing football played on the carpet. Anyway, I've got a QR code. They're going to scan it. They're going to let me in. I'm going to get to watch a game of football. But Smith, give us the final details. All right, it's not in Forest versus Blackpool in the championship. Set me back £29, didn't it? <laughs> Some people ask, do I actually say it when I go through? Boop, boop. Told you, but as we go up the stairs, I'll do it again for you. Boop, boop. That's a treat for you. It's not every day we get to visit former European champions, is it? Now, we're about to kick off, but I've got to get some food before, and I'm starving. Charlie's gone for a slash, so I'm ordering, killing two birds with one stone. Bother on tap. Damn it, it's just hot water. So now I'm eating potato pies, I'm gutted, so I've had to. That's all they've got left. I've had to get chicken balty, and it's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all, but... Yeah. Just go with it, wouldn't we? That's three pound on a pie. Right, I'm carrying a bit, so uh, I'll see you in the seat. Got to the seat. It's a tight squeeze. Ryanair at best. This has been my view for the first couple of minutes because people still are getting in their seats. Too many people have gone to the pub. There we go. We've got a view of a football pitch. We've just started. Just kicked off. Let's go. Two rows in front. I've just spotted the best mum. Debatable. And through two heads, I spot a screen because I can't see much at the moment. Now, Charlie loves a chicken balty pie, so he's going to take hold of the food ratings today. And you'll find out how this went down at the end of the video. How's it going, Chaz? Now, in recent weeks, I'd normally get away putting my feet on the seat in front, but uh, this week, no chance. No chance at all. Terry, Eddie, and Dave are in front today. Meanwhile, nice shots to my right with the Trent sitting there in the background. Lovely stuff. I like this ground. Good vibe so far. So I'm talking about people. Forest were a bit of a false. You can't see it, but in 79, they won the European Cup. Super Cup in 79 as well. Back to back, of course. 1980 European Cup. The 89 League Cup. They did the League Cup in 1990 as well. It's not listed there for obvious reasons, but the 1991 FA Cup. Come on, you Spurs. Sorry, not sorry. And you thought they only did this in non league? <laughs> I've delved in. I've delved in and um, it's just not for me. The flavour, it's not for me. I should mention we're quite near the Blackpool fans. They're making their voices heard. <laughs> and so are Forrest. And it begins. And so, it's not in the forest. Charlie's looking at NFTs, pass it on. And it could have been two for forest. And it's at this moment I can confirm that justice for stewards at the city ground is a thing. Frank's got a front row seat and he's making the most of it. Look at that. Eiffel. Back to the facilities. You don't get this at the new toilet seat looking like grounds. This is art. Make this an NFT. Like a mathematician showing his workings out. Oh, did you know that the Gary Baldy, the red basically, that they wear with pride was made in 1865. So bloody old. There's an injury down there, so time for a water break. Bobby Boucher is on hand. Looks like Eddie's taking this break to maybe get some food, a drink, possibly toilet. Who knows? Play your bad. Simon's off too. Just like that, Eddie's back, making everyone stand up. No, I can't see again. Definitely a slash, wouldn't it? Definitely. Now there's a view. That's what we want. Unfortunately, our view today is slightly restricted because people's heads are so big in Nottingham. They're so vain. They probably think this video is about them. Don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Just checking out the corner flag girth down there. Pretty girthy flagpole. And I wouldn't expect any less from the former European Cup holders. 40 minutes on the clock. Everyone's making the rush. Charlie's now editing a beautiful photo of the Trent. Oh, love a bit of vignette. When well, i got to say, it does look better in Charlie's photo. But I can do things and colour grade a little bit. Don't worry. Yeah, this is still happening as uh, Blackpool got a corner. <laughs> Over the line, handball. I don't know what they're moaning about, but what I can tell you is it's still 1 0 Forest. The Blackpool do have another corner, but before we crack on with that, a uh, couple of words. Just because he's 26 doesn't mean you have to call me over as well, ref. Calm down, son. I like the number 26. It's why I've got you both over. If I was a big boy like you two, I'd be working the number 26. Now, I know we've got a game of football to get on with, but before you go, what's your opinion on thin sliced ham? Corner time. I've just got word that Nottingham Forest defenders were sent up to Grimsby midweek for a training session, and it seems to be paying off. Championship lino straight as a ruler. Don't need accepting into the human ruler family. He's just part of it. He's already there. He may have even founded it. And on that note, half time. <laughs> So as I count the buses on the bridge, the sprinklers are out because this place is so hot. Now that people are gone, I can actually see this corner flag. Yeah, girthy. Real girthy. You can tell I'm in the city right now. I've got 5G signal. You can tell I'm in a football stadium right now. I've got no internet connection. Apparently this is a thing. You can just go into your uh, data settings and turn it onto 4G. So I haven't got 5G because it's not working. 4G, let's try this out. Um, computer says no. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I really am trying to post a photo of football to football, but I'm stuck with Jose Mourinho meeting Conor McGregor. I was gonna say stick around up if you'll have the on the road series, but what are these pointing at? Wrong answers only. Apparently they don't care about their rivals, but I think they do. Neil Neil against Preston at the moment. It's half time comes 
Mr. Benin, we've got to say a big shout out to the squad, the groundsmen. They keep the beautiful game looking beautiful. And just like that, players are back on the field. You ready for the second half? I am. Let's go. <laughs> So we mentioned 26s, but as you know, I like number twos. It's my number. And today, that's Jed Spence on loan from Middlesbrough. He's actually been playing very well. And obviously, rocking the number two shirt, immediate candidate for man of the match. Talking to two, it should be for Forrest. <laughs> So I touched on it before the Grimsby training session for defenders at Forest. Joe Warrell, another defender benefiting from that. Look at this. Tackle. Someone else who benefited actually was myself. It's a good story actually, considering this is not in a Forest video. I was actually part of a back line that kept out Chris Cohen. He couldn't get past me that day. That's right, Chris Cohen, former captain and legend at Forest, couldn't get past me. I mean, sure, we were nine. He was eight. He was playing the year above. Listen, I'll take what I can get. And quite frankly, that's all I got. That's all I got. Now as I gaze into the distance of the city of Nottingham, Forest continue to miss chances. It's only going to be a matter of time before Blackpool have one of their own. <laughs> Watch limbs all day, It'd be brilliant. Right now, what I can confirm is it is 1 1 in this game, all to play for. Let's see how it pans out. No, I'm back to watching limbs. <laughs> And Jed Spence, though, causing trouble, putting in crosses, but nobody getting on the end of them. Pinging them like Woodsy's nine iron. <laughs> Let me just copy and paste my last voiceover. My man Jed Spence, though, causing trouble, putting in crosses, but nobody getting on the end of them. I'm telling you, alongside Joe Worrell, Spence at the back, up there, man of the match, absolutely. Love that. That actually resulted in the ball coming up the other end for Forrest. Cross, blocked, or so I thought. The cross is actually deflected into the path of Lewis Graben. <laughs> Boy, Blackpool. Oh, update, Justin Fischewes is no longer a thing at the city ground. Bit of back and forth between the fans. Larry's got to do his job. In the distance, looks like Springfield's kicking out. And I'm wondering what is needed to achieve this look. It's got to be wax. That cheek type of blue gel just isn't going to cut it. Typical football pose. Arms wide open. I just think football grounds could be a great place for anyone to just get anything off their chest. Just shout it loud and proud, you know? I'm not going to the pub. I'm going to watch Real Housewife of Cheshire reruns with my missus tonight. And I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you, cheers, guys. Would you look at that? My dial up internet actually worked and the uh, photo's gone up. Lots of you commented. Listen, I know you're all daring me to put you in the video. Hopefully, you see your comment here. Here's one comment from Dan that stood out. Can you put Woods' 9 iron in the video? Mate, I've already done it. Already done it. Eddie in front's getting a little bit agitated. He wants us to get a third. Let's be honest, he doesn't want a nervy ending. He just wants it simple. Three points, then Hooters. No hats in there, remember, Eddie? No hats. Today's attendance, by the way, was 27,946. We were in that number. On the opposite side, I seem to Irish Forest fans. Forest are massive. They're global. And we were talking about Forest getting a third. Is it going to happen? How's he missed? And if there's anything I disagree with today, it's that. Right there. Justice for Joe Warren and Jed Spence. Anyway, back to Forrest getting a third. <laughs> Listen, I, I get it. You want to beat the rush. Listen, you ain't seen your team win at home in the league since April. April. Four minutes just too long to wait, isn't it? It's at this moment I realised I was so focused on not getting the keys, I've actually forgotten the stickers. No stickers. Let's not worry too much. Swing your jump around. It's full time. <laughs> so we have a little bit of appreciation for the away team to the away fans. As for the home fans, I think it's fair to say they're happy with their new appointment in Steve Cooper. <laughs> So, as we queue up to get the hell out of here, should we rate this experience? I think we should. 
Let's. All right, so as per usual, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. How was it at the city ground? It was decent. Not five-star decent. We're still waiting for five-star decent this season, aren't we? And what I would say is Blackpool fans played their part in this as well. Yeah, good buzz around the stadium. Funny what a bit of good form does. And just like that, Nottingham Forest have got themselves four stars. Next up, facilities. Last time around, we was at Grimsby on the coast. This time, it's Nottingham on the Trent. And overall, it just ticks those boxes that I'm looking for in a football stadium. I call it 90s vibes because that was the era I grew up in and started watching football, of course. A solid ground for me, which sees it get four and a half stars. What's next? Food and drink. Very, very important. But unfortunately, today it let me down, didn't it? Stop issues, it seems. Yeah, Charlie's had quite a few chicken bolty pies in his time and he wasn't the best at all. He says to me it was three and a half stars and that was at the very, very best. There you go. Finally, we're talking cost. It was the most expensive ticket we've had this year, but was it value for money? The short answer is, well, yes. We got to see a good game of football in a nice stadium, decent atmosphere. The only thing that let it down was the food, wasn't it? Four and a half stars for the cost at Nine Forest. So we've got another 16.5, which sees them go second in the league. They're not going to be happy sitting behind Coventry, are they? But what I can tell you is they're higher rated than Notts County, so there we go. When breaking this down, we always try and separate it by atmosphere, but obviously that was the same. Then we look at the food and drink, and well, we love a bit of grub and uh, this wasn't the best food unfortunately but overall we think about the game and Coventry did have a last minute winner didn't they against Reading that just adds to the hype adds to the scenes and uh, yeah Coventry still remain top spot so they'll be happy there on the way we bump into on the road view I think it's Sam hello yeah, I think it was Sam hello hello yeah, my friends is the exit and we walk into a cloudy sunset what a lovely shot consider getting a pin badge but I want to save your change for a burger ah they sold out of burgers so we take the 20 minute walk back firstly over the bridge it's beautiful it really is as we continue the walk we eventually get back to Queens Road car park where the cost for parking today was an absolute bargain five pound Thank you very much. Got the stickers, didn't we? So I just thought I'd stick it in the car park instead. Lovely, lovely spot. And if you want to spread the word and support the channel, you're more than welcome to. You can grab your stickers from yetbackagain.com. And so just like that, he's out of the car park and on the road, yet back again. Three hours plus a stoppage. We'll be back to Essex in good time. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. And if you haven't seen all the On the Road yet, make sure you check out the On the Road playlist. It's worth a binge. We're counting down to 100 grounds. Where will we go? I do not know. But until then, I've been Smith. This has been On the Road, and I'll see you in the next one.